September began the school year with health as its driving force. First, General Motors workers went on strike over health care benefits. Then the health of the Meridian Mall gets a shot with the opening of high caliber carding. Social activist Greta Thunberg admonishes the United Nations over the health of the planet. How dare you! And our healthy appetite for baked goods from Roma Bakery came to an end. Thank you so much. October opened with Joaquin Phoenix and the release of the critically acclaimed Joker. A small plane crashes just short of Capital City Airport. The women took over the fall spotlight as Simone Biles becomes the world's greatest gymnast. Felicity Huffman begins jail time for her involvement in the college admission scandal. And Christina Cook and Jessica Mirror team up for the first female spacewalk. Sports had its turn, with the Lansing Ignite closing its doors after one season. The Washington Nationals win the World Series, and Stephen Izzo scores his first points as a Spartan. Like, Please go in. Thanksgiving month with Sparty ringing the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange. The Houston Astros are caught stealing this, this signs. Didn't impact the game. Ford introduces the new Mustang SUV. Jim Harbaugh discussed the confusion with college football <laughs> officiating. Uh, I know that's. Remember that being something you couldn't do? Tesla demonstrates the toughness of its new truck. Oh my. And Michigan's Garland Gilchrist becomes the first lieutenant governor to sign a bill into law. December was a month loaded with starts and stops. Former Spartans Larry Page and Sergey Brin stop as CEO and president of Google. Draymond Green stops into the Breslin for his Jersey retirement. LSU's Joe Burrow starts life after college with the Heisman Trophy. Congratulations. The president is impeached. Article two is adopted. The United States starts its space force. And Jolly, a baby black rhino starts its life at Potter Park Zoo. January 2020 will go on record as the hottest January ever. Houses begin to slide into Lake Michigan. And the world is rocked in January with the tragic death of Los Angeles Laker Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi. February became the month of ins and outs. First, Mark D'Antonio goes out as he retires as head coach of MSU football. Someday there will be someone else here talking to you from this podium. That day has come. Then Mel Tucker, former Colorado coach, comes in as the new MSU football coach. Go green. While Ryan Newman goes out of the Daytona 500 in a frightening crash on the last lap. And you can now put the smell of Big Macs in your house with the introduction of scented McDonald's candles. In March, COVID-19 took over everything. The entire country of Italy is locked down due to the pandemic. One by one, major sports are canceled. The first Michigan death due to the coronavirus was a Southgate man in his 50s. Passed away early this morning at a Beaumont hospital in Wayne County. Zoom becomes the communication device of choice and the Tiger King becomes TV phenomenon. COVID-19 commands the headlines in April, giving everyone a sense of doom and gloom. Stay-at-home orders become increasingly challenging. I'm frustrated too. None of us wants to be here in this moment, but we are, and we have to do the best that we can. As the coronavirus pandemic continued, the streets around the Capitol were blocked by stay-at-home order protesters as April wore on. Protesters, some armed, again stormed the state Capitol building. To combat this cabin fever effect, WLNS introduces Feel Good Friday. Strictly good news stories, and we hope this newscast will remind everyone that they're still good when everything seems bad. May, people are out. Social distancing. The new normal sets in. It's time to take on the challenges before you. Godspeed, bottom dog. Congratulations to the historic class of 2020.